is not marked. It could just be my imagination, but would you call that Turtle Rock? Maccabee Diva, triple Melbourne Cup winner. This is a tuna polar statue. Port Lincoln's home to a big tuna fleet. Safe swimming enclosure at near the end of the jetty. Showing the bond that humans have for their pets, Captain Matthew Flinders, who named Australia and charted its coastline, took his cat on his journey with him. That has to be one of the most well-traveled cats. Port Lincoln from Winter Hill Lookout. We've returned to the pier here to look at the fishing fleets, the ones that are in. It is tuna season right now. Here, a couple of big boats back there. And quite the lineup all the way down here. Look at that. Note this boat right in front. This is the Great White Shark diving tour boat. With the shark cages, they put you in the water to swim with the sharks. This is Billy Point Boat Ramp. They do allow some camping here. This man is a wheat lumper. Those are 85 kilo bags that they carried it over their shoulders. The Copio Smith store is now a museum. With Old blacksmith shop, 1903. The Copio Black Stump, Black Tuesday, January 11, 2005. Retained in memory of the devastating fire that destroyed so much of Lower Air Peninsula. The fire took nine lives and destroyed 64 homes, 160 farms, 47,000 livestock, and 83,000 hectares. We get Carol Wells on the Spencer Gulf outside of Port Neal. It's the old historic well, and I can see that it still has some water in it. Six thirty a.m. on a February morning, and the sun is just coming up. Here comes the sun. I was filming the sunrise and I came across these dolphins.
I'm going to leave you with my top pick for Port Lincoln. Do, when you come to Port Lincoln, do not miss Whaler's Way. Whaler's Way, I thought, was magnificent. I rank it up there with one of the best things I've seen in this whole country. It's a full day. You're really going to enjoy it. And it's a don't miss. It's not in this movie because we were here four years ago and we did Whaler's Way then. So if you look through my old videos, you'll find it. It's called Whaler's Way because there was so much to see there. It's a movie all by itself. Please don't miss Whaler's Way when you come to Port Lincoln.